Hi crypto community, it's Eugene from PicTech and now I'm going to share with you the latest news and the most exciting events that happened uh, in the DeFi protocols. Of course, I will give you a short overview of the DeFi market, uh, about the basics of the DeFi market and the biggest project uh, update. So uh, they are Balancer, Uniswap and One Inch. So those three uh, will be mentioned here. So I hope you will enjoy watching it. So let's start. So now we're going to start with uh, the general overview of the market and uh, the experts opinions. Uh, one of those is Ethereum co-founder uh, Joe Lublin. So uh, this is the person who is not very famous like Vitalik, but still very influential among uh, crypto community and uh, crypto world. So he claims that there are four, four basic uh, cryptocurrency notions and uh, centers of development and they are uh, he's calling them four horses of crypto adoption so uh, they are blockchain uh, cryptocurrency in general so we know m much about them these years then decentralized finance which has been uh, adopted uh, or has been started to be adopted uh, last year and NFTs mostly shoot off this year. So those are four directions, four niches that are going to be very, very uh, claimed for adoption. And uh, of course, we can, uh, can set at different different links on different uh, Twitter Twitter subscriptions uh, among the leaders of opinion uh, in those niches so it's very important and he proves why it, it's happening so you can read it uh, read this article uh, in the description for for that video uh, then the next one uh, this is the news that uh, brings us back to reality and vividly shows that all protocols need to be verified and checked by us and uh, uh, in terms of audit if they have or not audit uh, so this is a very vivid example uh, why and how people can lose money so defi, DeFi project was hacked for 10 million dollars uh, in ether equ equivalent and that's why we need to be very attentive uh, according to the uh, absence or uh, or adoption to of um, of um, protocol ch check and full full verification and audit so uh, this community is taking measures of course to cover the to cover the loss but uh, still this is uh, a reminder for us to be attentive and to check every time we invest uh, so, on the other hand, on the positive hand, um, the author of that uh, article says that DeFi infrastructure is more complete than we think. Uh, so, of course, we need to ensure, uh, to, 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 uh, to make sure that we, uh, we are safe and the ecosystem, the eco infrastructure is proposing us insurance plans. For example, Nexus Cap Mutual uh, is the company that provides insurance for DeFi protocols. So um, maybe you remember I told you uh, in the previous um, in the previous lectures and the previous videos that Nexus Mutual is a UK company that uses the um, uh, judicial opportunity in the UK to. Uh, to give insurance services for cryptocurrency markets. So using that opportunity in the UK law, they are making use of it. And of course, the price plans can be different from 60% of the protected amount up to 2.5, which is very low for conservative, um, conservative products, uh, for conservative um, operations. So decentralized derivatives so, uh, are being insured and insurers, uh, insurance is now available in that service. So for example, they uh, provide the uh, insurance in uh, for PancakeSwap, for Uniswap, for Binance liquidity pools. So those are, uh, th those assets can be 
uh, can be covered by this uh, by this insurance so this is um, this is the main idea and we already have the complete infrastructure and it's better than we think when they think we just don't know about it so that's the idea of the article the next one uh, is um, is about regulatory steps next steps or issues they have of course DeFi not is not a very easy thing to be regulated uh, unlike uh, classical finance and there is uh, they they just looking into DeFi nature of course DeFi nature is uh, is contradicting to the basic financial uh, fi financial instrument and um, of course, it's very difficult to regulate, to govern that. So uh, DeFi platforms, as we know, do, uh, do uh, uh, swap services, so exchange services, then uh, uh, borrowing, lending services, so cre cre crediting and all that stuff. Then investments are very popular here and synthetic instruments, derivatives. Uh, in simple words so those kinds of services are being provided and it's very difficult for for uh, regulators to control that but of course they're aiming to do that and they will be doing it so in this article there is a long description how it works uh, the examples are given but the main idea here that uh, they the regulators need uh, to step away from their traditional uh, trodden path and consider the additional authority to regulate those uh, those uh, activities and um, and transactions and all the all the actions in the DeFi market um, so th that's why there's a big uh, a big field of work for regulators and of course they have to invest lots of efforts time and money to make this uh, to control this market so you know my attitude to regulation uh, so i don't think it's natural it contradicts the the nature of DeFi itself and blockchain uh, original idea of satoshi nakamoto so but this is my opinion and we need to know what's happening uh, that's ha that what's happening in that market uh, the next one uh, is an interesting overview how DEXs uh, or DEX infrastructure can improve or make maybe a little bit step forward to decentralized internet. Uh, so the controversy and ambiguity currently now that we are using, we know that we are using uh, the centralized internet. It's not a secret. So uh, of course, Elon Musk is creating Starlink uh, and uh, making it more popular or but still it's centralized uh, more or less uh, we just have different providers globals and uh, global and locals by nature internet is now itself global internet is centralized uh, among providers uh, but the controversy here is that information uh, information field is not centralized so uh, and it's a little bit contradicting to uh, between the tool which internet is and the core the core where information is decentralized so everyone can upload videos on youtube but um, your activity on youtube is decentralized but youtube uh, and internet are centralized so that's it. that's the controversy and the, this is the contradiction uh, uh, we are having here so uh, web 3.3 internet is not even starting to be implemented um, uh, but uh, in the informational field it's we still uh, we are already we are already in web 3.0 so that's the idea and uh, here the author describes uh, how DEXs function so you know uh, you know that very well so what um, uh, uh, what niches uh, in DEXs we have and so on uh, then and the the finalizing thoughts are that the evolution of decentralized exchanging is improving P2P model and facilitate to tokenization so that in future that's the first step to decentralized 
internet protocol so we know when we when we type um, when we type here so in the in the uh, in the browser address line so https so those uh, protocols um, uh, hypertext transfer protocol uh, so the this protocol was invented uh, last last century as far as I remember if I remember correctly so those protocols are still internet protocols are still um, centralized but in future DEXs may be the ground the technological ground for the change in future so you can mm, you can remember Brian Armstrong's uh, uh, Coinbase owner and founder uh, prediction for the next 10 years and maybe this is one of the prediction that will happen uh, in the next decade uh, let's go uh, to our um, unicorn news and we start with Uniswap um, so Uniswap uh, has hit us last week with a new protocol we talked about that last week uh, so this week we have a very interesting um, information and uh, claim from Vitalik Buterin so one of the co-founders of Ethereum where he says that uh, uni uh, the token should become an oracle token price oracle to be exact to be exact i will now go to the d details too much but uh, if uh, in the outline we can read that uh, the grounds and the reason why he, he why he says that so um, this will be uh, uh, will be the reason why it can be an oracle so price oracle is the confirmation of price so and uh, uniswap owners uh, are voting for the price in the mechanism of, of the smart contract so they confirm the price um, uh, we know that stable coins are doing that function but still stable coins in their turn no matter how uh, how they function whether they are fiat provided like usdt or usdc uh, or like DAI, uh, which are algorithmic based on smart contracts, but still they're focused on the US dollar by nature. So this is the reason they are not, their prices are not sufficient. So the price of the dollar to be, uh, if we translate it to, uh, to simple language. So another Oracle leader we have, Chainlink is great. Uh, but there is a room for simple alternative um, uh, specialized for high value so uh, he says that an alternative can be created like chain link and can be uh, substituted but uniswap is taking one of the leaders uh, leading protocol of course and uni as a governance token is an excellent position to be for such an oracle for layer 2 so we're not speaking uh, version 2 sorry uh, ethereum version 2 not version 1 so uh, and ethereum uh, ethereum version 1 and or layer 1 on the old protocol uh, proof of stake uh, should be governance minimalist so we don't have uh, no voting but layer 2 should be more um, ambitious and uni as a token can be a part of that so this is a very very profound and promising news that uh, will of course raise the price for the uni, uni token much the next one one inch or oh, every week one inch founders and one inch team gives us very interesting news uh, if you don't know one inch is an aggregator of decentralized exchanges and their launch their launching network on polygon so what's polygon if you don't know um, uh, polygon is the second layer uh, of ethereum so this is one of the top scaling solutions where uh, where uh, a parachain a parallel chain so to say of ethereum uh, are or layer two chain so no, th th there are many uh, there are many terms to call this phenomenon but it's in on top of the ethereum chain to save gas prices so uh Aave curve and sushi swap uh, transactions can be included so previously this chain was uh, called matic and matic token uh, has risen above one uh, one dollar as you as you know so this is an interesting use uh, one inch team is looking forward uh, to 
uh, to involving more and more protocols, more and more layers, and of course liquidity. So I, 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 I think they are the leaders. And uh, the last big news and the biggest news this week that I'm sharing with you that Balancer protocol is, um, it's another de decentralized exchange, is introducing version 2. Unlike Uniswap um, uh, version 3 uh, protocol, so this protocol is not very um, different from version 1 for the user, but on the back end uh, we have great improvement for efficiency and gas efficiency like they say and uh, the gas prices will be lower. I will explain in a couple of words why. So uh, of course all the all the features will um, uh, will remain version uh, 1 will be valid and all the liquidity will uh, will go to uh, version 2 but uh, in terms what the change is the change is that the architecture is different now and uh, uh, the vault uh, is separating so if previously in version 2 there's uh, they're not separating assets uh, I mean swapping operations in simple words and logic of, of the pools so they were all together in one vault vault is storage in simple words uh, in balancer 2 uh, they separate vault for backend for the uh, for pools uh, and logic for swap so they are uh, separated here and that may, makes it more efficient so this is uh, an architecture change that makes us um, that makes gas efficiency low uh, uh, high and so and of course ga gas fees low uh, so this is the main the main change for uh, for us so if you want you will uh, uh, you will read this article uh, the link will be provided as usual and of course you can um, you can try it on your own and this is a very very interesting uh, protocol so it's improving and the team is uh, is catching up with the trends improving so this year i would call the year of improvements protocol improvements uh, uh, on back end and front end and gas and liquidity pool management efficiency so uh, that's in short so uh, these are the news and as a conclusion uh, about this bunch of news i want to say that uh, the basic DeFi projects such as uniswap or such as balancer curve and many others are making the difference are defining the ways of development of the DeFi market that's why it's important to look uh, to look at what they're doing uh, to follow their news so this is the main co conclusion the second conclusion I have made from this bunch of news is that uh, society no matter which circle uh, financial so general uh, crypto uh, crypto community is making more out of DeFi sector and uh, uh, the, the, this is something that is still actual and attractive that's why I believe in uh, DeFi sector I don't sell my DeFi coins by now so this is my personal strategy then this is not a recommendation and the third conclusion I want to make out of this uh, of this uh, session or, or, or feed that I have presented to you uh, is that we still have the market more uh, more developed than it looks like what I mean uh, like based on the uh, insurance and many other predictions market so these are sub markets and sub areas that are already in the DeFi sector but we are not making the full use of them so this is a great potential so those are my three conclusions Hope you uh, enjoyed it and that was useful for you to watch. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.